Brahms may have been inspired to write his variations on a theme by Haydn by his hero Beethoven, who used theme and variations form to explore and develop different emotional aspects and possibilities of a theme. Variation 6, Vivace, features the whole horn quartet in a bold, robust, and exciting variation. The challenge with the second horn part is to play a rather awkward passage lightly and nimbly, Yet it's also important to emphasize the accents in Sforzandi that are very Beethoven-like. These Sforzandi are made more with a pulse of the air from the lower abdomen than with the tongue. To practice that, it helps to put your horn down. Say, ha, 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 as you strongly aspirate. You can put your hand on your lower abdomen and feel your abdomen pulse. Then grab your horn and without articulating, do the same ha, 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 ha on one middle register note. Then add articulation in front of the pulsing air. It almost feels like you're firing torpedoes from your lower abdomen to get those sharp, concise bursts of air. Another aspect of practice is finding the optimal jaw positions when going from one register to another. It's useful to slur the whole variation and feel how the jaw naturally wants to change position. Vowels and points of release of the tip of the tongue are important as well. There are lots of though and the notes. That is, the points of release of the tip of the tongue are at or near the bottom of the upper two front teeth. Since speed, agility, and clarity are important, I play much of this excerpt on the B-flat horn. Practice the repeats, because you will probably have to play them in an audition and, of course, in performance. <laughs> 